Welcome, everybody, to the day before Thanksgiving. Um, that Thanksgiving break, I mean. So we're going to talk about constructors. Constructors have no return type and have the exact same name as the class. What are constructors for? Constructors set the initial state of all the variables. You know I will. So constructors have no return type. They don't have void or int or boolean. And they have the exact same name as the class, including upper and lower you know, letters and everything. Constructors set the initial state of all variables. And so here's a book class that I just wrote. Uh, and so far, this is the whole class, public class book. We have two private variables, one for title, one for author. And then here's a constructor that accepts a string, two strings, and then sets the title to the first one and the author to the second one. So these variables that are passed into the constructor, they only <coughs> exist inside of the constructor. So you can't, in a later part of the program, say, well, if t equals something, then blah, blah, blah. Because t gets created right here inside this constructor. It's used right here on this line. And then when this constructor is done, that variable t is just thrown away. Just as a minor point. but um. And then I want to I call out again. You see, for the, the title of the book, we... It's great to have variable names that are intuitive, like the word title for the title. That's awesome. Uh, you don't want to use the same variable name right here because that creates a temporary throwaway variable called title. And then you can't say title equals title. That wouldn't make any sense. And you'd end up with your actual title being null, which is uh, the default value for a string that has nothing in it. So um, there's a way to work around that. I'm going to show you in just a sec. But um, uh, I'm going to copy this and put it into uh, into my compiler down here. So we'll uh, and I got to take off the word public here because this isn't in a file called book. Uh, that's what's required if it's going to have the word public in front of it. But let me let me see that this compiles. Yeah. So up here, uh, I'm going to say book b equals new book and. Uh, Uh, that's the title, and I'm the author. No, no, I actually wrote a book. You wouldn't, um, you wouldn't know it, but um. W U. No, it's W three. Yeah. No, I wrote a sequel to the Willy Wonka books. I call it Wonka Three. Yeah. No, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. It's not published, but. Can read it? Oh, I, I'm thinking about making it available to the world. Yeah. We can be editors for you if you want to see the I know, but there you go. Um, so listen, I run this code. I made a book. It runs fine. Now, watch this. If I print the book, system.out.println b, that's the name of the book. Uh, you may have seen something like this. 
Before, uh, I'll run it again. I'm trying to get rid of this word system. Can we just not have the text? There we go. Okay, so have you seen this? Um, when I printed my book, instead of saying Wonka 3 Hayes, it says book at 1db9742. This is actually saying we're printing a, a book object and it's at memory address, whatever that is, right? So that's pretty, pretty useless. And that's why we do a two string method. If you don't put a two string method into an object, then it's just gonna print the memory location and the name of the type of object it is. So let's, let's go down here. We'll add a two string method. Uh, public string to string and two strings always just return a string they don't print anything they return a string so return title plus plus author so now if we run this code we get the title of the book and the author that's much better I think you'd agree um, and this brings me to uh, uh, two things. If you don't have, uh, you don't have to have a constructor in a class. So here's the book class without a constructor. I just got rid of the constructor. Um, of course, I couldn't create it by calling it with an author and a title, it would tell me that there's a mismatch, there's no constructor. But watch, I'll create this book uh, and we'll print it. And see it says null, null. That's because Java always gives you, uh, there's a built-in constructor that sets all values to default values. So integers and doubles would be set to zero, strings and other objects would be just set to null, and uh, booleans would be set to false. So, I mean, you don't have to have a constructor, so don't panic if you don't see a constructor in a class. That just means everything's getting set to default values. Most of what we'll do, we will have constructors. So I'm going to put this back because I, I wanted to have it. Uh, um, I wanted to show you, if you do feel compelled to use the same name here, um, there's a way to make it work. You have to use this keyword, the keyword this, right here. Um, and this will uh, this this will work. Um, so if you use the same name here as you use for your private variable, then the word this means for this class, not this not this constructor. It means back up to the highest level. This whole class has a variable called title, and we're going to set it to this temporary variable called title. And this whole class has a variable called author. We're going to set it to this temporary variable author. Um, you know, that can be, uh, oh, I got rid of my, uh, uh, book, but now we're back in business. Uh, so this is, seems like more work than not using the word this. So that's why I always recommend, I, I just do usually the first letter like T for title instead of, uh, the word title, or you could do, uh, upper and lower case, or like all caps on one of them, uh, Sometimes I know in the past we've done like uh, in other years I've had a student class people wrote and the GPA the variable is lowercase and you could do it uppercase here you know um, I just wanted you to see the this keyword so it didn't freak you out when you see it later and then lastly, I wanted to say you can overload constructors. Um, what does that mean? Do you guys remember? You got more than one. And they, uh, they just have to have different parameter lists. Each uh, would have to have different parameter lists. So we could uh, say public book and just have string title, for example. That would we we'd be allowed to have that uh, as another constructor. I mean, with with some code below it. But um, 
uh, you couldn't do another constructor that took two strings because Java can't tell which strings you mean. And we already had one that had title and author. But you could have one that just had title and year or, uh, or title, year, and, and author. You know, it just has to be, the signature would have to be different. Um, uh, public book, string title, string uh, author, uh, int, year. See, that would be an acceptable additional one. This is, remember, called overloading when you have um, uh, different methods or constructors with the same name, but they have different parameter lists, so um, they're considered different. All right, that's it. For